Hi, this is Wine Story and I'm Jay. Today I'm going to talk about New Zealand wine. New Zealand is well known for beautiful nature as you might have seen in the movie The Lord of the Ring. You might not find a ring of there, but you can find some of the good wines. New Zealand made a great recognition for Sauvignon Blanc. Compared to French one, it shows wild characteristics and this left the world strong impressions. And now Sauvignon Blanc gave the ring to New Zealand's finger. Other than Sauvignon Blanc, they make premium Pinot Noir, Pinot Gris too. Then let's go into more in detail. In Northern Ireland, there is a capital city, Auckland. But this is very wet and warm, so not the most ideal place for wine. Still, big wineries bring the grapes from other places and make the wine because this is a really, you know, close to the big market. To the east coast, you may have heard of Hawke's Bay. This area is similar to Bordeaux by soil and climate. Similar soil and climate means Bordeaux varieties go well. Next is Martinborough of Wairarapa. This area is recognized with its Pinot Noir. Luckily, diurnal temperature range keeps its acidity by cooling down at night. Let's move to the South Island. Most of New Zealand's Sauvignon Blanc you tried overseas must be from Marlborough. It has the highest production volume of Sauvignon Blanc, more specifically, Southern Valley and Wara Valley are warmer than Awatir Valley. Awatir Valley is drier, cooler, and windier, so they can make premium white wines. You can also find sparkling wine out of Sauvignon Blanc, Chardonnay, and Pinot Noir. To south, there is a wide zone, but actual vineyards are not that large size. They produce mainly Sauvignon Blanc and Pinot Noir, but white part of Canterbury makes incredible Riesling too. Last one is Central Otago. This is the only continental climate region in New Zealand. So compared to other regions, here you can find some full-body, high alcohol wines. Pinot Noir is a majority, but you can find some red wines and Pinot Gris and Riesling and Chardonnay. Well, that was it. Thank you for watching and see you next time.